that today I am just doing the unmolding part of the video. <sighs> Since I had to do a couple of different layers and stuff, and I really just needed to work on rings. So that's what most of these are going to be. Uh, we have our bits box here, so most of the little bits are going to go in there until I can use them. And then add some extra resin, so I decided to do some cute little uh, like cups and coffee cups and mason jar kind of keychains. So that's I'm going to play some music in the background, I'm not feeling great. So I probably won't be talking a whole lot, but enjoy the video anyway. This one is specifically a UV resin mold, but I had extra resin, so I thought I would try it out real quick just to see how they turned out. Um, let's go ahead and do this one first, I suppose. And I've already got some Sally earrings up in my shop, so I think some rings will be pretty cool. And then once I've put the UV resin and paint on them, they'll look pretty cool. I think these will fit on the rings, I'm not sure. I found the smallest ones I could on Amazon, with like the smallest base on them. It looks like they'll be fine. I think that'll be really cute, like little zeros. And then those are too tiny, so I've, I thought I'd try the bigger Oogie Boogie ones. Oh, if these will fit on the ring bases. No. Those are a couple of the rings I've already made. 
they're upside down. And they're adjustable. I mean, you can always adjust them to however you need them. Uh, let's see, try to find a ring base. These, yeah, these are probably too small too for a ring base. I'll find something to do with them. Thought I'd try it anyway. And these, I use the uh, Pearlex pigments. And they turn out pretty cool once they're um, coated with the UV resin. They're a lot low. Blah, 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 blah. They're a lot more metallic. So that's nice. Um, I haven't used the Maru one yet, so let's try that one. It's a little banana. I gotta clean some of these up too. Some of these, the glitter didn't want to stick too well, so I don't know, like I have to paint them first to see if they're going to be for sale or not, otherwise I might make them as like little extras for friends and family, like those, like this one didn't want to stick right. So I don't know what it's going to be. Oh, that one came out pretty cool. A bullet bill. It's just that red. I need to find some different, uh, a different brand or something of hollow glitters. Like, some of them are okay, but some like the red. which just do not want to work well. So if anybody can recommend uh, good pigment brands, or even sellers on Etsy that sell pretty good brands. I'm all for that. You just leave it in the comments for me. And most of the Mario ones are probably going to be rings too, just because there's only one uh, of each of the shapes. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. So a lot of them are just going to be cute little rings. And if I decide to make some earrings, they will take a little bit longer because i got to do two sets. Or two pores, I suppose. That's what I mean. Oh, that one came out pretty cool. King Boo. And shell. Oh, I almost dropped it. And last little Mario shell. I don't know if you can really tell. It's a pretty good mold. I like these molds. Uh, let's do Kirby. I gotta do, I'm almost out of Kirby rings, so I figured I should probably make some more Kirby rings. If you wanna see any of the process, I do a lot of them on TikTok. Like some of the painting and then the UV resin and stuff. If you'd like to see how your rings are made. And that one was Pearlix powder. I move them around like that so you can kind of see uh, what they look like in different 
lights. So I've got three different lights on. And then different angles. Just kind of show it off a little bit, I suppose. And then the last one, just Care Bears, Hello Kitty, and uh, Unicorno. It's basically unicorns from Tokidoki. These are just extra resin I have. So it's gonna be earrings and a ring, probably. Cause it's all just the same color. This one I made for myself. Little pink and orange mix. It'll be a cute little ring. And then some Hello Kitty rings. I didn't get all the way down there, but that's okay. And some Care Bears, because the Care, Dare, the Care Bears are different colors. So I want to make a decent variety on them. Oh, I dropped that one. little bit. So the camera stopped shaking a little bit. Um, I'm kind of see what they are right here. This one's a tester. I had key blades uh, that I printed out on some transparency sheet. So let's see how that one went. And I did get this specific mold off Amazon if anybody's curious. turned out pretty good. You can actually see the key blades. I don't know how close they can actually get this. But the white usually seems to help pretty good with the transparency sheet. Bleh. Transparency sheets. And those you can just get off Amazon too. You can get like a pack of I think 12 or 13 for I think I got it for like 8 or 9 dollars. And I just printed them off. I don't know if I'm going to sell this one or not. This one was like a test, but it turned out pretty cute. So I might just turn it into a keychain. See the pom pom purin ones? These are super duper cute. And of course, I got to clean up around the edges and stuff, but super duper cute. And these are pretty big, it's a lot of resin, so. But they make really cute keychains. This one says Crystal Queen on it, and it's got a little hollow crystal right there. Color shift. I don't know what you call that. And the last one for the video, guys. Fueled by coffee and crystals. I like the mix. I think it's called 90s mix that I got from an Etsy shop. Pretty cute. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I will do a close-up, of course, at the very end of the video, but I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching all the way through. I know it wasn't too exciting. It's just unmolding, but 
uh, kind of cut some of the process out and just went to the fun part. <laughs> this box. So, uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.